Oh, that is uh, that is baying. Uh, that's from the Forest CD, Joseph Joseph Parsons, and um, I was just I was just talk, talking to John, and, and uh, I'll, well, I'll ask him again. I'm not sure what the whether this is going to work out, but John, look, I'll just explain the re- the reasoning of this. It seems to me that we've, although Joseph Parsons' uh, Doghouse Rises UK tour isn't over. I think we've messed up in terms of making our communication with other radio stations. Um, and we should prepare better for the next time around. And I think you are going to Glasgow. Yes, I am. Um, I'm, go- I'm going to Glasgow um, uh, to see a professor called Gordon Dutton who, who specialises in neuroscience, I guess, and he knows about uh, cortical cerebral impairment, which is... My eye condition, um, it's a very complicated thing. Um, that's why I'm going to him for a free hour of <laughs> for, for a hour appointment that I'm looking very well, forward to having conducted. Um, if, um, and I'm staying, uh, we're having to go up there and my mum's got this all, all, um, idea about driving and she thinks it's going to be uh, wonderful um, and I'm dreading the journey. I, 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 well, it'll be good, it'll be nice I guess. Um, I like travelling really but it's a bit far. <laughs> um, <laughs> well it is a bit far. Uh, but John, uh, can I try and draw you back to my, my question? Yes. Because um, last year, Joseph, well, the, the, the fantastic promoters from basically the, the Bridge Inn in Topsham yes. did a deal with the cafe in Launceston and persuaded yeah. uh, uh, Joseph Parsons, uh, who's got actually quite a good touring base in Germany and the continent. Yep. They said, why don't you, you know, they said, well, look, we've come all this way to listen to you. Why don't you come back to the UK? That well, was last year. And um, <laughs> on, the, on the same sort of basis, they they uh, regarded Phonic FM as their big promotional opportunity. Yes. So on, on the Wild Show on a Thursday, um, we, we, you, we did the interview. Those of you who want to know who Professor Gordon Dutton is, you can, you can Google him and it will come up. His book costs about 80 quid. It's all about neuroscience um, on the eyes. That's his specialty, eyes and the brain, I believe. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but I believe, Will, I have invited you to the next um, uh, convention about my eye condition, if you're interested in coming yeah, in yeah. Bristol. It's in November. I'm still... Um, you can go to CBI, the CBI uh, Society website to have a look at the website if you're interested. Uh, well, John, um, well, I'm, well, I'm sorry, I'm not... not, I'm not, not um, go on. Well, I'm not... I'm not we can come back to this. I'm just trying to trying to explain what, what why I'm making the point that I am trying to make. Yeah, I know why you're making the point. Um, you're, if you're going to Glasgow for three hours, <laughs> you might as well, <laughs> well make I'm a day of it. Make well, a day of it, John. Well, no, no. Listen to some I'll radio. Be, uh, yeah, well, uh, no, probably I will uh, because I'm. We're going to spend one or two. We're going to have to spend one or two nights up there anyway. Because it's a bloody long way. Sorry, it's a long way to go. Um, um, Sorry if you're offended by my little bit of language there, uh, but I'm sure it will survive. Uh, It's not really a swear word. Um, Anyway, I think we can get away with that. Anyway, no, it is a long way to go. The the point is, for three hours, it definitely is a long way to go. But but it's going to be a three-hour appointment, so it's going to. I'm, I'm, obviously, I'm going to be up there longer than three. I'm going to spend. I'm going to spend. Gonna have to spend maybe one night or two nights up there, um, but it's not really uh, Glasgow. Is not really a place that I want to travel to on my own, and it's gonna it will be very very tiring. So yeah. Um, well, all all I'm saying is what what we anyway. what we gathered was the reason he was doing this tour to Launceston, Topsham, and Scotland was to meet the Doghouse Roses, who he's met in in Germany. Right. So there's some reason for all this, and some Scottish radio station probably has done the interview and got the mp3 and we would like to borrow it right so well i think it would be a good idea to borrow it they're very welcome because we've put all of our interview onto youtube right and we're surprised we haven't had any sort of comments there from grateful local radio stations all over the uk saying yes we nicked that bit but jd explained to me actually most radio stations prefer to ask the same question again mm. But oh, fair enough. Mm. I think local radio should be working where it can. Yeah. 
Anyway, John, all I'm saying is, when you've got all that way to Glasgow, well, I'm, yeah, I'm, you I'm, might as I well will listen to radio. I if, will if, listen to if, radio. If, if anybody's sort of listening to this and, and knows knows anything about local radio in Scotland or the Doghouse Roses or what what the connection is with Philadelphia mm-hmm. or Germany or anything like that. Yeah. Well, you 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 will be there, and you could you could take down take down the details. Yeah, yeah, I sure could. So that's uh, that was what that was all I was getting there. But yeah. as for as for the conferences, yeah, we'll de- we'll definitely get to that another day. Mm-hmm. So who, who, t- say again who this who this guy is? He, he must uh, he must this must be. You don't have to spend eighty quid on his book. Professor Gordon Dutton, who I'm seeing. Um, I met him through the uh, CVI Cortical Cerebral Impairment Conference I went to in Harrogate briefly last year. Um, he uh, specialises in eyes, uh, obviously, and, uh, and neurological conditions to do with your eyes. And mine is a neurological condition, so he, 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 uh, he is an expert on it, apparently. Um, so I'm oh, going... I think I, he is. I'm, uh, He's charging 80 the, quid for his book. Uh, well, uh, that's how much the book is. On. If you, if you, so, if you want to uh, li- uh, um, have have a look at his book, it's I think it's on Amazon for for, for that um, for, for that amount of money. But anyway, that's that's how much the book is on Amazon. Um, I I wasn't lucky enough to win it in their prize draw um, in Harrogate last year. So I, I obviously my I think my mum wants to read it, but she hasn't bought a copy of it yet. But anyway, it's available. If you Google Gordon Dutton, Gordon, Gordon Dutton is a well-known um, person. So yeah, that's who I'm having. An, that's who I'm having my. That's who I'm having an appointment with. And yeah. It Say say the organisation again, because maybe their website would give some information. It's the C V it's the C V I Society. My 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 eye condition is called C V I. Um it, it, you you can you can inquire it through having a bre- having a trauma to your brain, which I've had trauma to my brain through birth. I, I obviously I had a pre- my mum obviously I was born pre- um I wasn't born preterm, so obviously that that incurred some brain bleeds and that's why obviously I've inquired this and that's why I have cerebral palsy as well um, but um, 90 uh, not, 50% of all people with cerebral palsy will have cortical cerebral impairment but the other 50% will uh, will not but you can also inquire CVI cortical cerebral impairment through having a stroke as well so it's not but 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 fifty percent of all people with CP will have that CVI as well, or some kind of form of CVI. Um, that's what I know, I believe. Okay, so if they go to the organisational, it's the CVI. You can you can put into Google the CVI Society, and then uh, they it will tell you. It will come up with their website and you can find information there about the actual condition if anybody's interested um, in it. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, to switch in the subjects more or less completely, in May, uh, Vintage Trouble are going to be here at the Phoenix. I, I am yet to understand why Disturbed haven't come here to up the Phoenix. Why haven't Disturbed come to the Phoenix? Yes. I don't know, John. Because, as far as I'm aware, um, you know, especially, is it still the rock show? Does the rock show still happen here? The okay. rock show, yeah, you sort, of, sort of Friday, Saturday night sort of show. I'm, I'm surprised that, I'm surprised, I'm surprised that Disturbed haven't come here to the Phoenix. Well, yet. they do. They start to do acoustic versions of some of their numbers, haven't they? They could do an acoustic. What Disturbed? Set. Yeah. Well, they've done it. They've done an acoustic version of Sound of Silence, but... Do they do any other ones? Not that I've heard of. Well, yes, they do. Um, that there, there is that there is some acoustic versions of their music on YouTube um, that I haven't got time to find now. Um, but anyway, I might, I might add that Disturbed is um, rather a band, my favourite group, because a lot of their music has helped me through... Um, painful parts of my life. Um, so, well, 
my life in general up until now I was, it's still slightly a mess but it's getting it's getting clear I'm clearing it up um, but disturbed have really been a big part of my assistance I think their music of uh, their music their music has really helped me um, you know still still but John I, I mean the, they they are a highly amplified band, aren't they? The, yeah. the cost of all their amplifiers and everything. Well, yes, they, they are need, they highly. Need a, they, they are a, a highly uh, amplified band. But before you um, butt in, mm. um, uh, I, 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 they've been at Download Festival several times. That's why I try to encourage you. Or encourage us to go to down the festival last year, but you weren't inter you were you weren't mm. interested. Um, so I didn't we didn't I didn't get there. Um, and um, so yeah, they are a highly hyper. Um, they are a highly. What, what was the word well, they, you used? Well, it's just their performances are quite expensive. They operate on a large scale. Well, yes, they so, do. Will because so, they they're a band from Chicago and they travel all over the world. Yeah, Most particularly. They're not in the UK. Well, very, they're well, not in the UK you, very much. No. They're mostly before you cut me off in Birmingham. <laughs> yeah. um, they're not not in Birmingham. In Germany, yeah. Uh, um, most of the time, I've no, I've known them do many tours in Germany, and some of their uh, covers, some of their uh, gigs in Germany. The reason why I know about Germany so well is because some of their gigs in Germany is actually on YouTube. If you if you listen to if you if you um, listen to uh, Disturbed uh, often enough, you'll you'll come across YouTube and their and their um, gigs in Germany. They're, they're quite they're public to see. So, but I do I do so think would they do would they do somewhere like the Eden Centre? Do you think? Where's the Eden Centre? Well, it's in Cornwall, isn't it? It's big <laughs> big. Look, we've got no, John. We've got well, I, well, I doubt it will. They would Why have not? to. Well, possibly because if they were going to come to a venue like this, they would probably want to know that they would have one. The venue has to be big enough. Yeah. Two, they're quite well known, so they would probably yeah. get more people here that they can physically fit in the venue. Um, three, they would probably want to come to a place where they would know they would get sellouts. Well, they would sell out the Phoenix for, uh, yeah, well, they very would, rapidly. They would, they would, yes. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, they're very well known. Whether the Phoenix would be able to physically hold that many people is is an OMR. So that's that's the technical yeah, terms of it. Yeah, so yeah. You, you're asking me a question that I really can't answer in terms of in terms of in terms of it being in terms of this in terms of upstairs. Because we're in the basement here, for those of you who didn't know. Um, in terms of it being upstairs, whether whether the, whether we would actually be able to phys physically fit all the people in um, to this wonderful um, uh, venue, um, no, perhaps it's we exactly so. No, no. uh, so, uh, well, David Drakeman and his crew are not really going to be bothering about coming to coming here. Well, well, when it, when, when when Elton John came. Well, Elton, Last summer, Elton we, John. Couldn't cope, we couldn't cope with the traffic, could we? Uh, no, Elton John. <laughs> Exeter's, Exeter's traffic system completely yes. collapsed. Yes, it did. It did. It did indeed. But I didn't... So that's I not a very good sign, is it? I wasn't fortunate enough to get tickets to go and see Elton John, and I, I don't think I would really want to go and see him anyway. Um, I've, I've said... I've, 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 ha I've had a... I've, I've, I, I, I think Elton John is an amazing singer, but I do think... I, I do think... Um, he wants to uh, uh, come to Exeter a bit more, and um, well, well, he should slow. He's slowing down anyway. He's overdone it. He's been touring far too much. Yeah. he's going to have a rest, and perhaps a small venue. Well, we've he, got a piano in Exeter. He can afford he, to take he, time off. Well, it may, maybe a smaller venue will suit him in the future yes. when, he, when he adjusts yes. his life. I do to find. I do find a lot. I do find more a lot. Suitable I do, possibly. I do find a lot of these celebrities um, spoiled, but that's not. That's well, no, not. No, no, That's no. not pointing out to any particular celebrity, but no. anyway, I'm just saying celebrities in general might be. Anyway. No. If he wants to spend all his money on flowers, provided he sends them to us, I think we don't mind. I think it's wonderful that he that he can spend all his money on flowers. Actually, I, I would love to know what flowers you get out of If you could let, ever let me know, it would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> well, anyway, 
with no more ado, I'm going to play um, play Vintage Trouble. There are still tickets. It's not till the end of May, and they haven't yet sold out the Phoenix. But you never know. It's quite possible. Uh, this is this is one of their tracks. <laughs> <laughs> 